Okay, this little video is uh, about running three phase equipment with single phase. It's actually very, very simple. You need a uh, three phase motor of the same voltage that uh, you're using on whatever you're trying to operate, which is generally going to be 208, 230. Uh, it needs to be about half again bigger. In this case, that's a seven and a half horse, and I'm running a five horse lathe motor. There's uh, the headstock of the lathe. Uh, and there's really not too much to this thing. I have here, here's your forward and reverse for your uh, lathe motor. There is a little switch right here, just like a light switch, and, and this is gonna turn on that little motor. So let's take a look. Uh, right now, I'm gonna hit this switch, and the little motor starts. And when this motor gets up halfway to speed, you notice there's a lot of slip on it. It doesn't need to really work that hard. All it's got to do is get that motor up to speed. Now right here, I have uh, a uh, breaker for the lathe. And I'm turning it on. Now you heard that thing come on. The motor is now on and up to speed. Now I can come here, I can turn this off because I no longer need that little start motor. I have wired the uh, wiring from the 7.5 straight to the 5 forks. Now this is a little tough to see because that's not really the motor down there that I'm trying to start, but you can see the box the J box there that I'm using and the motors inside there okay now if I want to run the lathe all I have to do at this point is turn it on and you can see the headstock is operating and I can reverse it exactly normal. In fact, if I do amp draw of the 5 horse motor that I'm running with the 3, you'll find it's exactly the same in all three phases. So this works beautifully. The torque is up uh, the par and everything. And it is extremely simple. I will make up a diagram on how these things are wired together uh, so that you'll have an idea of just how to do this. It is not complicated. It's extremely simple. So, uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, when you're ready to shut it down, all you really have to do is just shut the light off. And that shuts off the 7.5. And, and the 7.5 actually creates the, uh, the three phase by the induction winding. We'll just call it that for now. There's, there's a complicated way that it's done, but uh, let's just understand it that way, and the wiring diagram should pretty well tell the tale on this. Okay, this is a uh, hand-done drawing of how you would wire these uh, motors. The driver motor will be one and a half times the size of the driven motor. You simply wire the phases all together, wire two single phase 208 240 lines to the driver motor on any two uh, terminals doesn't make any difference which one uh, the motor will not start of course unless you uh, use a small pilot motor to get it going but as long as you have 208 240 single phase uh, this will work uh, be sure and put a breaker in the circuit probably 125 percent of full load uh, and that should take care of it uh, full load is going to be a little higher than you expect I'd expect it about a third higher than uh, the amp draw of the large motor the rated amp draw of the large motor 
Uh, but this is it. I have not included any grounding. Certainly everything should be grounded and so on. But, and a breaker of course should be in the circuit. But this will work.